on a pitch away. The fly ball goes that way. It's into the corner. It's deep, and it's off the bottom of the wall. What was Luis oh Garcia doing? Oh my gosh, doing? Luis Garcia's not going to score on a double. What was he doing? Did he go back to tag and never got off the bag at all? That wow. should be a runner on third, eight to seven. And Bell grounder right side. Home for one. And the ball hits the runner or the fielder. And a run's going to come around and score, but are they going to call Josh Bell out for being in the baseline? Here we go again with this play. Oh, all heck is about to break loose right now. Davey is going to lose his mind on this one. Even Ryan Zimmerman's arguing. You never see Ryan Zimmerman argue. Look, you see, look at the scoreboard. He's running right in the baseline. Ryan's going to get thrown out. I've never seen Ryan this animated. He's going nuts right now. He's saying, look at the scoreboard. He was walking to the plate, so he had a great view. When have you ever seen Ryan argue? Ever. So this is about to be called the double play inning over. From what I saw initially on the camera, we're looking at it here at Nats Park. It looked like he was running right down the line. This will show us. Let's see. It looked like he was on the grass for a minute. And then he tried to disrupt the throw to home. Yeah, Josh looked like he was on the grass at first. And then he cuts. Poor Nationals, this is the third time this has happened in recent memory to them. Look, if you don't learn the rule and you keep violating it, they're going to keep calling it. Also, you'll notice I put the 20 second replay clock up there. Just notice that it's been at zero for quite some time now. We're going to go to the bottom of the 10th, tied up. They're saying it's too late. Unbelievable. They're saying three outs. It's too late. Let's uh, go. I feel so bad for Davey that he can't go out there. That's hard to watch. Remember in an earlier brouhaha when I said it wouldn't be a great look for an umpire to go to the dugout to argue with an ejected manager while you be the judge also? Yeah, that's more than 20. You know, with all the yelling going on, I might actually have some company soon on the vocal cord injured list. And we have looked at the replay a couple of times, and there's no doubt that at least on part of the trip to first base, Josh Bell was running on the infield grass. Dude, this is a sore spot for this club, right, in general, when you talk about the World Series and what happened at Wrigley Field this year. And now this, th this is, you know, this is a sensitive thing for the Nats and that's why you saw the reaction from everybody. It's Gabe Morales telling Josh where he was running and the, the sad thing about the play is the throw was so bad that if Josh had stayed on the line all the way down there the Nats probably would have scored a run or two there. You could be mad at the play all you want but Luis Garcia should have scored and Lane Thomas should have been on third with a triple. Yeah that changed the whole inning. That changed the whole inning. I mean that play is that play but the base running mistake by Garcia to me is bigger than that. Just to recap what we've said for years now, you have to run in the runner's lane when a play is going to first base if you interfere with the fielder taking the throw, and yep, getting hit with the ball and taking the fielder's glove off constitutes interfering with the fielder, you're likely going to be called out. To get to the lefty? Yes, it doesn't matter. Yes, it doesn't matter. Well, that didn't take long, did it? They're still arguing with the umpires. The umpires leave right by the Nats dugout. And they want to see if this hit the batter, I think, Carp. Okay. 
I want to see if this is a hit by pitch before this game is over. And the umpires are leaving. They're just leaving. They want to see if the guy got hit by the pitch. What a fiasco in South Florida. Like, did they take longer than 20 again? It hit something. Maybe it was K-Bert Ruiz's shin guard, but it hit something. This ain't going to show us. They just want to see if they hit Lewis Brinson's foot. That's all they want to see. That is the strangest game I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, it looks like it hit the dirt and then hit Ruiz. So no hit batter. Could so it, the. It could have hit his knee. Designated runner steals third. They intentionally walk Sanchez. And with Brinson batting, the wild pitch beats. The See right here, I'm looking at the plate umpire Adam Beck, who looks at the dugout of the Nationals, and I guess they didn't ask for it right away. It's just what a weird game. Eight to seven in ten innings, and one of the most bizarre tenth innings or any inning you shall ever see.